guys, I just want to drop something about vitamin B6. Um, some of you may know that I do DNA testing, blood work, hair mineral analysis with my clients. Um, one of the most common issues I see genetically pop up over and over and over. I'd say if I had to like guesstimate at least 75% of the people that I run DNA on have issues with vitamin B6 genetically. This has been coming into my world all over the place. And so I thought I would just drop this in your path. If you have deficiency in B6, good morning, Keto D. <laughs> See you soon at KetoCon. If you have low levels of vitamin B6, do you know what that does? You need B6. B6 is one of the most abundant cofactors in all of these processes in your body. One of the biggest hitters that I think you guys should know about is depression and anxiety because you cannot adequately make dopamine or serotonin correctly if you don't have enough vitamin B6 in your life. This is an essential uh, vitamin, meaning you have to eat it right? And our bodies require it. You can, I'm going to repeat, you cannot make dopamine or serotonin adequately without healthy levels of vitamin B6. And there are so many things correlated to that beyond just feeling like shit and feeling depressed and feeling suicidal and feeling anxious as crap and all of these things. Also, migraines are correlated with low levels of serotonin. Um, you can't sleep well. You are just generally going to feel like shit. So that I just want to drop that in your path from a nutritionist perspective. If you do not have enough B6, and here's the thing, it's not just about eating vitamin B6 because some people, because of their genetic predispositions, they can eat all the B6 they want. They cannot convert it into the active form. So the active form of vitamin B6 is called P5P. Pure Encapsulations is a great brand. If you want to try this, if you don't want to do all the gene testing and all this stuff, and you just want to try taking some P5P, just freaking try taking it and see how you feel. Um, you probably notice some difference that day, but m more like over two to three weeks, you should definitely notice if it's making a difference for you or not. I have genetic issues on MTHFR, which is B9 folate. I have genetic issues with uh, B12. So B vitamins are one of my things that I take every freaking day. I would know. I just, I notice a huge difference when I'm getting ready to go on a trip tomorrow. My B vitamins will be coming with me. Um, this is coming up with my kids. So that's why I'm kind of like all up in this right now. It's coming up with friends. It's coming up with clients. Like it's hitting me in all angles in my life right now. A sister, like it's just it's all over the place. So I would just say if you have low energy levels or mental health issues, especially huge mood fluctuations, also women, if you have really bad PMS symptoms, you should not have really bad PMS symptoms. Did you know that? Did you know that's not normal? Did you know that's a red flag that something's wrong? I do not have anything happen to me in terms of cramps. I, I don't have a single cramp. I don't have cramps. I don't have big mood changes, nothing like that. I just feel a little bit hungrier from the hormone shifts and maybe a little bit tired, but not really, right? So if you have really bad PMS symptoms, something is wrong, you need help. And that is definitely something I would look into on that. If you have huge mood fluctuations, this can be a B6 deficiency issue. So please look into it. Um, I wish I could give you guys like a resource for the general public for this genetic testing, but unfortunately what I use currently, I'm taking the data from 23andMe and running it through a practitioner software that I have. So I can't, I'm working on that. I'm talking to a company called the DNA company right now and I wanna see how they do it because I'm looking to see how I can help more of you find out this stuff without me having to get involved. Um, yeah, vegetarians, thank you for mentioning that. She takes B12 drops every day. Yeah. And above, above and beyond that, I mean, biggest hitters, I see B9, which is folate, B6 and B12. I see genetic issues. I literally, I don't think I've seen anybody that doesn't have some sort of genetic predis predisposition to be low in one of those. Okay. So, um, just dropping that in there since taking B12, my lower back pain has improved recommended by my chiropractor. Yeah. So I'll share, hopefully my son doesn't mind me sharing this, but my 14 year old has been getting migraines. I'm like, what the hell? You know, so <laughs> you know me. Um, also he has really, really tight tightness. Like can't even like bend over super tight, right? Stretching. None of that stuff is helping. I took him into my chiropractor and he's like, he's probably deficient in folate because if you don't have adequate folate levels, you can't make fascia. Well, I didn't know that that was a new thing that I learned. So we've got him taking folate. And here's the thing. If you have genetic issues that with these things, you can eat it. I want to emphasize this. You could be eating all the folic acid you want. You could be eating vitamin B6. 
and you may not be converting it to the active form to be used by your body. I have had clients have life, literally, like they'll be like, I haven't felt like this since I was a little kid. Just from getting activated forms of these B vitamins, because I'll look at their DNA and I'm like, you got all these predispositions, we're seeing it in your blood, take this. And they're like, all of a sudden they don't have chronic fatigue syndrome anymore or as much depression, anxiety type stuff. I'm not saying it's a cure all for like, you know, all the mental, emotional side of things, but it's very, very hard to do the mental and emotional work when you don't have the freaking bandwidth. There is not a person on the planet that has, is going to have low serotonin and is going to just mindset their way into feeling better. They like, it's like you literally can't. Um, on ter- in terms of brands, I the the brands for supplements. I mean, my favorite brand in the freaking world for sure, bar none, is uh, Quicksilver Scientific. It's all liposomal. Everything's attached to phospholipids to get it past the cell membrane. It's a little bit more expensive. It's not even that much more expensive. It is worth every penny. You're talking complete and total absorption. I know they're not allowed to say that, but it is. Um, <laughs> versus fifteen percent, twenty percent absorption from a lot of supplements that you that have to go through your digestive. Track. So Quicksilver Scientific, I don't know if what they, I, I know that they do, they have a product called Methyl Charge. I just bought two bottles of it for myself. I literally feel like a superhuman when I take that. I am a slow methylator, right? So that is, quick, yeah, Quicksilver Scientific, I do have a discount with them because um, the doctor who started it, Chris Shade, was on my podcast. So they gave me a discount for 10% off. It helps. It's Garrison 10 and there's a link for it on the discounts page on my website. Um, I love methyl charge. If you know, if you've done some gene testing, if you know, if you're a slow or fast methylator, that can be really helpful, but they also have B complexes, B vitamins, all these things. They have pretty much everything in there. Amazing. Um, other in general, just so you guys know, like other supplement companies that are, you know, pretty well respected would be pure encapsulations. I use them a lot. Um, I like Thorns products, but I'm kind of mad at them about mandate shit, but I still, you know, <laughs> they have good products, Thorn. Um, what else? Metagenics is pretty good. Um, I'm trying to think. That's pretty much what comes off the top of my head. But yeah, um, yeah, when I got the right sup, it was a game changer. Yes. And remember, you don't, you might not need it. You might not need it. But I'm telling you, here's some other things. If you have neuropathy, like ne- neurological stuff in your hands, that can be a B6 deficiency. Um do I take my vitamins with food? Some you do and some you don't. I take my B vitamins on an empty stomach every morning and they, I do fine with that. Um, yeah, I agreed on thorn. So bum, they pulled that crap. I know the freak thorn, the freak. (laughs) Don't you know your people? (laughs) Don't you know your target audience? (laughs) Uh, can you make a list and post what they're for? Yeah. Yeah. I'll make some posts about the different B vitamins and what they do and signs of deficiencies and things like that. That's a great idea. So I'll share that. Um, but yeah, man, listen, like, um, so a friend of mine, um, Jonathan Mendoza, uh, he's a doc out in Austin, Texas. He runs a place called MSW lounge there where they do blood work on people and then do IV drips on them, um, based on what they need and their blood work, which is really cool. And he's nerdy AF and I freaking love that dude. And when I'll go out to Austin, I always go to his lounge, just kind of like a hangout in Austin for all of us little health geeks and spiritual geeks and all that stuff. And he pulled me over one time and he was like, look at this. And it's the freaking methylation cycle, right? (laughs) This is how me and my friends roll. He's like, look at this. What do you see is the most abundant cofactor in this entire process? He's like P5P, which is the active form of B6. He's like, this is huge. So many people are missing this. This is what I'm seeing. And I'm telling you, I'm seeing it too. I'm seeing genetic predispositions to be low in vitamin B6. And again, I'm going to repeat, you cannot make healthy levels of serotonin or dopamine if you don't have adequate levels of B6 to do that. Because what the methylation cycle means is this chemical process that everything in your body goes through. And it needs these little cofactors, these little helpers to make those things happen. And the most abundant one is P5P or the active form of B6. So if you're feeling shitty, if you don't have energy, also it can cause a form of anemia. Um, So look into that as well. If any of this is ringing a bell to you in your own personal life or your family or your friends, please look into it. Um, how do we get tested for what you're talking about? I, I, that's what I'm saying. I'm looking into it right now. I'm talking to a company called the DNA company. I'm seeing what they do because right now I'm taking 23 and me data and running it through. Um, I have a practitioner account with pure genomics, which is the DNA division of pure encapsulations, right? But you have to be a practitioner or have a practitioner do that for you. And I'm like, ah, 
I appreciate it. I love them. They're super good, but I need to be able to give more people access to this. And so I actually talked to one of the founders of the DNA company um, at a conference recently, and I really like what they're bringing to the table. So I'll let you know uh, what I think of that. They give you like a little, uh, and they're, they, I know we're in the process of talking and stuff. So I'm, I should be able to get a discount for you guys soon, but like they give you like a full synopsis of what this all means. And like a video actually of like, not a video, a voice recording saying like, here's what you need to know, which I, I love that quality of service. So looking into those guys, but you know, on a real level, like if you're having a lot of the symptoms of low B6 or low B9 or low B12, you can just take it and try it and see if it makes a difference. You will know. You will know. <laughs> okay. When I started actually like, this is why I love my freaking intuition. Cause I do this process a lot where I ask my body what it needs and I'm like meditating one day and I'm like, what do you need? And I heard freaking B vitamins. I hadn't been taking them for a while. I was like, I started laughing. I was like, well, oh, that's random. Maybe I'm just crazy being weird, you know? And I started taking them and I was like, holy shit. Right. So this was maybe, I don't know, four or five months ago that I got back on them consistently. And I'm like, never again, am I going to stop taking those? Because I know that from a genetic standpoint, I need those things. Also, there's links to improved outcomes from with autism, ADHD, from having adequate B6 levels. So if any of that runs in your family, stuff like that, please look into it. Bipolar, all of this is linked to these key core vitamins and minerals. So just want to drop that in your path. I'll create some posts as a couple of you guys asked about like things to look for, um, you know, in terms of symptoms. Would, would I suggest taking B6 or P5P? I mean, so P5P is just the active form of B6. So yeah, I would recommend getting some P5P. And so like, oh, I just brought, I just brought a bottle of B vitamins to my kids to have at my dad's house. I, I just had it in here a second ago, but it'll usually say like on the back of the bottle, it'll say B6 and it'll say as whatever. Right. And so it'll say something like P5P. I can't remember how to write, say the whole freaking word out. <laughs> what is P5P? Para I, uh, I don't know. I don't know how they put it, but P5P is just the active form. And that's the thing. If you have a genetic predisposition to not be able to take that form and food and turn it into the active form, taking the active form can be life-changing for you. Okay. Same thing with B12. Same thing with B9, which is folate. So many people have MTHFR gene mutation on, on folate, on B9, meaning you can eat all the leafy greens you want all the folic acid you want, you're, you're probably not converting it to the active form. Well, so taking an activated folate, a methylated, when we say methylated, it just means it's been activated. It's already been converted. It's ready to go and be used by your body can be life-changing for you. Yeah. B12 was huge. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I was just seeing this over and over and over and over and over with all of these B vitamins. So word to the wise, look into it. I'll share more. I got to go film some stuff for my app. By the way, if you haven't tried out my Coach Tara app, it's, it's good. And I got tons more coming. So I'm getting really, really positive feedback. So if you're looking for support in workouts, um, in mindset work with meditations, and also, you know, I have a whole biohacking section I'm in the process of creating right now, which this will be one of the things in there. Um, all of the stuff that I do with biohacking from hair mineral analysis, understanding why that matters, understanding minerals, understanding blood work, what to look for, um, neurotyping. If you've heard me talk about that, that's going in there. Um, uh, cold therapy, like understanding why it freaking matters. What is it actually doing in the body? How is it changing hormones? Things like that. Like I have a whole bio hacking section coming too. So the app's pretty cool. <laughs> if you want to, uh, get partake of what I have to offer without, you know, throwing out on the big bucks that, yeah, my one-on-one -on -one coaching is somewhat expensive for a lot of people. So I'm trying to make more affordable options to at least get this into your arena, you know, and if you have the funds and you want to invest in like really going in and I'm in it with you and I'm telling you like, dude, I'm in it with my clients, man. Like they're in my soul. Even after they stopped working with me, I just texted two clients yesterday. I'm like, dude, I, sorry, I just came in. <laughs> All right. So yeah, that's how it all works. And then my middle offer is my level up program, which is like a, a ebook type thing where you like dive in and answer questions and workbooks for training nutrition mindset over a year. So just heads up on all that's kind of like that. It's like you want to go cheap and just start with me app level up. Let's dive a little deeper, higher, like I'm in it with you and you can, you know, you can start any of those places, which is a heads up on all my offers. Okay. <sighs> More to come on the B vitamins. Okay. Bye guys.